Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video today, I will show you how to zip place for the radar magnetron and also reset the transmit time for a full node radar. So the question is, when do we need to change for the radar magnetron? Well, it's quite simple. If you want to check that, do you need to change for the radar magnetron or not? You just switch on the power for the radar and put the radar on standby mode like that. And on the screen of the radar, you will see the transmit time. So you have to remember that if the transmit time is more than manufacturer recommendation, you just change that anyway, okay? So let me show you. Well, as you can see that, as per our manual instruction, the life expectancy for the X-band magnetron is 5,000 hour and for the S-band is 7,000 hour okay so you can see that right so now I will show you how to place for the radar magnetron and then I will show you how to reset transmit time for this radar okay so before doing that I will switch off the power for the radar and also Switch off the main power for the radar as well. Okay, and now I will go up to the main mast and change for the magnetron. Hey guys, right now we are on the top of the main mast and we are going to remove and zip place for the magnetron. So just stick with this video, I will show you how to do that, okay? So first we disconnect the power for the motor. You can see that right here. And then we have to open up the cover to take out the magnetron. Okay, so we need to open up the, the boat yeah? and also disconnect the, the line, some line, so that we can take it out. It's better that you not to take the photo before you remove the table so that it can be easy to remember.
Let's see this one. Huh? Yeah. So this is the whole thing, including the fan and the magnetron. So now I will bring it down to the bridge to change for the magnetron inside. Just remove something inside here. Now we try to remove the bolt, then uh, take out the fan. You can see this is the old S Pen magnetron, and this is our new one. So now we try to remove, we try to remove the old one and replace by the new one. Okay. So this is the the X-band magnet one, the old one. So now we will try to reinstall the new one. It's the same side, right? So after removing the old one, you have to put the new one. Just the place for that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, like that. It's not only 300. So now we will try to, you know, return this one to the original position on the top mast. Okay, good. After we turn that, you have to cover for water and then a bit too. 